Mexico and South Africa, the two countries uh, that are almost at the same economic level, uh, were both emerging economies, but also econ interestingly about Mexico and South Africa is that one thing we have in common is maize uh, as a staple food uh, in our communities. So that uh, became, became the starting point of saying, why don't we begin to explore how we can start some kind of discussions around maize. When maize came, it only came as maize. Um, hence, the only thing we could do was simply mill it into 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 a meal, and then simply boil it with with water, and that was it. Uh, we did not have the opportunity of learning about nixtamalization, which is really a process uh, that is indigenous to Mexico. Um, that actually is a process of of preparing and processing. Uh, maize grain into a range of different products but in the process of doing that while you're doing processing the maize uh, in a very very simple way by simply you know cooking it uh, adding five percent lime and cooking it uh, briefly and soaking it overnight for about 12 hours uh, and then thereafter uh, drying it and, and washing it uh, and then cooking it uh, to make your various different pr different different products but what that does uh, from a nutritional point of view is that that addition of, of, of lime, which is calcium hydroxide, actually incorporates calcium into the maize. Uh, that's one which is a very important ingredient for your bones to, to make your bones healthy. But also it enables and releases all the other uh, you know, nutrients such as niacin, um, zinc and so on that are inherent in the maize so that they become available to your body when you now consume mm -hmm. the product that has uh, gone through nixtamalacion. Mm -hmm. And that for us is very import important because what we're dealing with is more than just food security. You're now dealing with food and nutrition security mm -hmm. and the nutrition, uh, uh, the nutrient content of the, of the maize becomes realized much more effectively and much better. Uh, in a way you could say, uh, this is far better than industrial supplementation uh, of some of these particular chem chemical components. And I think because the processing, the nixtamalization processing is so simple, it is something that we can you know, popularize amongst our communities and see how, how quickly we can get it out there and make sure that um, you know, uh, we, you know, we have a healthy uh, population.